Alpha men are unquestionably some of the most well-known and well-known men in the world. They are the kind of people who always seem to get what they want. Whether it's status, money, or fame, a new breed of males is unfortunately rising to the top. Those men are called Sigma males. They are the people who can't place themselves in the hierarchy. They also use the hierarchy to their advantage. They'd rather have freedom, be on their own, and be alone than have status, money, or fame. Sigma male would rather live his life outside of society's normal hierarchy of power. He is a one-of-a-kind person with strange habits. Because he doesn't follow rules or care about what other people think, the typical alpha male sees him as a danger. He is smart and able to take care of himself, but women find him very beautiful. Sigmas are men who are both creative and mysterious. People often think of them as rude, demanding, and even cold. But the truth is that Sigma males are often fully committed and honest, even though they don't follow traditional ways. They always make a set of rules for themselves that they stick to. They don't let anyone or anything control them, and they live by their own set of rules and regulations. The standard alpha male doesn't like this because they can't deal with or predict the Sigma. Here are the six biggest reasons why alpha males hate Sigma males so much. 1. Sigma always wins, even when they don't compete with anyone else. This is probably the most confusing thing about Sigma males. They don't see the need to fight, but they're constantly on top. It's like they have a secret weapon they use to get ahead, but no one really knows what it is. The best thing about Sigma is his ability to read people and comprehend their motives. Without ever having to raise his voice, he understands how to push the right buttons and get what he wants. He is a master of persuasion and can get people to agree with him. They don't take advantage of others with this ability, which is what the Alpha is known for. Sigma's ability to understand people also helps him avoid fights. He can stop a fight before it spirals out of control, which is something the Alpha male usually has trouble doing. The Alpha is too proud to give up, and this often leads to fighting. This is the main reason why Alpha men dislike Sigma males so much. They find it difficult to comprehend how someone could be so successful without even trying hard. This goes against everything they know and makes them feel bad about themselves. Being calm and thinking things over doesn't make you weak. It makes you better. This is simply how Sigma males function and it's a trait that makes them incredibly successful in life. You might think that the quiet Sigma in the corner is the poorest person in the room, but he is actually the most powerful person there, and he is not there by accident. He is there for a reason. 2. The male Sigma looks better. The alpha male is the biggest and most outgoing. The Sigma male, on the other hand, is more mysterious and seductive. He can get what he wants without being the center of attention. The Sigma is happy to let the Alpha have all the attention while he waits in the shadows, ready to make his move. This makes the Sigma often more dangerous than the Alpha, who is too busy clowning around to notice what's really going on. He has a significant advantage over the Alpha, because the Sigma is typically watching and learning. Both are sure of themselves, but the Sigma is more polished about it. He doesn't need to brag or boast like Alpha, because he thinks that his deeds speak for themselves. Sigma males are also more fine with silence than alpha males, who often feel the need to say something during every awkward pause. Conversation. Body language master who knows how to use it to his advantage is the Sigma man. He may be able to get what he wants without saying a word, which makes him often more successful with women than the alpha male. It would be wrong to think that all women are attracted to Sigma males, but there are definitely more women who are pulled to their mysterious charm. Most women don't like how pushy and in-your-face the alpha male is, while the sigma male is more laid back. This does not mean that the sigma is weak. Rather, he simply understands how to better control his emotions than the alpha. Sigma's ability to be more seductive doesn't instantly make him a better lover, but it does give him an advantage in the dating world. The male alpha is typically too busy attempting to please women, whereas the sigma is more focused on making a genuine connection. 3. People start picking sigma as their leader. 
More and more people are attracted to the independent and non-conformist attitude of the Sigma male. In a world full of alpha males who are constantly attempting to control them, they view him as a breath of fresh air. The alpha male starts to feel threatened when the Sigma male becomes more popular. He is used to being the leader and having everyone follow him. But now people are starting to choose Sigma as their leader. Sigma males lead through persuasion and models, whereas alpha males lead through force and violence. One of the reasons why people are attracted to the Sigma method is that it is a much more effective way to lead. We live in a society that is getting less and less dominated by alpha males. People are tired of being controlled and they need someone who will lead them in a more positive and powerful way, which is exactly what the Sigma male provides. The thing that bothers the alpha male the most is that people choose the Sigma to lead even though he hasn't done anything. The Sigma almost thinks it makes sense. This makes the alpha look like a leader who needs people to follow him and is desperate. 4. The Sigma always takes the next step. While the alpha male is trying to figure out what's going on, the Sigma male is already one step ahead. This is because Sigma is always looking for new and creative ways to do things and thinking outside the box. The Alpha is so busy trying to keep things the same that he doesn't have time to think of anything new. Simply put, they want to make sure that no one questions his authority and that all people follow his lead. The Alpha male falls behind while the Sigma keeps going forward as a result of this narrow-minded masculinity. The Alpha has always been stuck in the past while the Sigma has always been going forward. This is a huge source of frustration for the Alpha, who feels like he can never catch up. The Sigma doesn't care about being an Alpha or having a lot of power. They just want to get things done in the best way possible. This often puts them in conflict with the Alpha male, who is more focused on keeping his position of authority. This could happen in any part of life, from work to relationships. While Alpha is only concerned with what's best for himself, Sigma is constantly thinking about what's best for the group. This doesn't mean that Sigma is a saint and Alpha is a bad person. It just means that Sigma has different goals than the Alphas. When Sigma thinks outside the box, it can make the Alpha feel upset. The Alpha male is used to being the best person in the room, but now he feels like the Sigma is smarter than him. They don't follow the rules when they play. By playing by the rules, alpha males are accustomed to getting what they want. They know how the system works and are always looking for ways to get ahead. Sigma males, on the other hand, don't play by the rules. They are always looking for new ways to get what they want, even if it means breaking the rules. This makes them hard to control and very hard to predict. Alpha males need control and consistency in their lives, so Sigma males who don't follow the rules are a big source of frustration for them. While the Alpha is attempting to figure out how to run the system, the Sigma is busy creating his own rules. This makes the Alpha feel like he's constantly behind. Of course, the Alpha male will never admit that he is envious of the Sigma's creativity and intelligence. Instead, he would simply say that the Sigma is distracting or difficult. Alpha males often attempt to stop the Sigma, but this only makes the Sigma more eager to get away. Also, it makes the Alpha look like a small-minded and petty person. The Sigma male will never try to stop anyone. They will just keep doing what they want to do, no matter what other people think. 6. They are very independent and able to take care of themselves. Alpha males are accustomed to relying on other people. They need to feel respected because they are the ones who are constantly in charge. The Sigma male is the opposite of everything else. He doesn't need anyone to take care of him because he is independent and can take care of himself. The Sigma can take care of himself and doesn't need help from anyone else. Because he is more independent, he often makes a better partner, which is something the Alpha male lacks. The Sigma male is also happier being alone than the Alpha male and doesn't need to connect with people all the time. He likes spending time alone because it lets him get his energy back. Their self-reflection makes them more aware of their own thoughts and feelings, which helps them learn more about who they are. 
The alpha male is accustomed to being the center of attention and sometimes feels like the only person who counts. If he didn't have a team to lead or a woman to woo, he might feel lost and without a reason to live. So this is the end of the video. If you find it helpful, you might want to subscribe and tell your friends about it.